angels. Oh, Shabbat Shalom. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I don't even have my picture covered up here. I'm sorry, guys. Shabbat Shalom. I didn't see my... I had myself covered here. Anyway, I'm here today to do a video because I wasn't going to even come on today. I've been resting today. Really, it's... it's uh, if you go look at my map here, it's uh, 30 degrees here in Colorado, Canyon City. Uh, and it's really kind of cold today, so it's kind of like put you in that mood not to do much but sit around and watch sermons and pray, and I was playing songs a while ago. But I have to come on here and show this because, uh, let me get my declaimer up here, but I have to come on here and show you guys what's going on. I have a message coming from... Uh, uh, Carrie Geddon that she just put out today and I'm going to share it with you and then I'm going to go over to the Bible in Ezekiel and I'm going to the info I looked up uh, just pulled up this uh, Bible gateway I'm going to go there and go to Ezekiel 13 and 14 and let you see the messages that father gave me or share with me the Holy Spirit uh, yesterday and day before so uh, I thought it was interesting that uh, Ezekiel 13th chapter and 14th chapter have the same amount of verses, 23 verses in each chapter. So I'm going to be doing both of them. And then before I do that, I'm going to go to Carrie, get in and let her explain what's going on, what father showed her. And then I'm going to uh, just say, uh, uh, do nothing else. So I'll put some news things in the description box for you guys. I don't even think I pulled up my declaimer yet, father. I'm sorry. I got to go get it here now. I didn't get to pull it up. So anyway, uh, I'm just saying that we're going to go, um, we're going to go and, uh, share, uh, some things that you probably need to hear right now. A lot of things are happening in the news, but I will put those in the description box, some other news links and things like that. Uh, but right now we're going to go over and, uh, play a song after I put this fair use notice up. Uh, so anyway, um. The song is one of the songs coming from Barry and Bethal uh, that I like so much about the Shabbat. So uh, we'll be playing that song. Uh, so I just hope you guys are really having a wonderful Sabbath. Uh, hope you're enjoying your Sabbath. Uh, so uh, let me go on over here and pull this up now, and then I will get over to it. And I have one announcement. Oh, I, I didn't pull that up either. I better get that pulled up. It's an announcement that a friend of mine sent me. And I'm going to probably just show you guys that because I'll forget about it. I really will. It's coming from, uh, you're seeing all my emails now, but it's coming from um, Patty over in California. And she wanted me to announce this, guys, to you before I get forget about it. Uh, it's a hand soap out called Hope. And she's telling people not to use it, not to buy it, uh, because... Uh, I will put so I will probably talk about it at the end of the video, but I know it's another one she sent me as well, uh, where she's talking about the uh, the soap, uh, how it's causing people to have cancer or something like that, causing people to have cancer, and a lot of uh, troubles going on with this soap, uh, warning about this soap. So uh, I just know that it's important that you listen to some of these things. I don't buy these things really. I try to use natural products much as I can, but we need to be really paying attention to some of these things that are going on because uh, a lot of things are going on out there that we shouldn't be bothering. Uh, like I say, I tell people not to take the vaccine. If that's their choice to take it, what can I do? But I just want to share that, share that, share that with you real quickly. And, uh, and then I will probably get some other, uh, she had another, some more material on it, but I don't, I can't show it. I didn't pull it up here. But I will probably, uh, if you want more material, if you want more information on it, write me and I will send you the link uh, of the material that she mentioned why it's causing trouble. But you can go do your own research and, and see what people are saying about this hope soap that's not good for you, okay? So uh, let me go ahead and get on to a song here. Let me go ahead and mute it out. And we'll come back and start off with, probably start off with... Uh, uh, my friend there, Carrie Geddon, and we'll get into the Bible. So
Messiah would come. Shema Israel, the Lord God is one. Just as you rested when your work was done, we enter your rest by the work of your Son. is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ brothers and sisters I just want to quickly uh, come on here because I have a message from the Most High Yah one from one from the Lord through myself and one from a beautiful brother in the Lord and this morning I woke up to his Facebook post concerning the evangelical churches and the old Donald Trump scenario and saga and the most high has given him a word a very very powerful word i know that many of the donald trump supporters will not want to hear this but we have to say thus saith the lord because if we don't rather than we be uh cursed out by men which i'm not bothered about one bit but I do not want to stand in judgment of the most high yeah because of disobedience so on the 9th of uh, January 2021, I must say 2021 because the, the, the new year just recently broke and a couple of my videos have been saying 2020 when I mean 2021. Um, but this morning, the 9th, the 9th of January 2021, the Lord gave me a word and this that I'm going to read for for you, it is from the Lord. This is not my thinking. This is not me. If it was me, I would say this is me. But what I'm about to say to you, brothers and sisters, this word that I'm giving to you came directly from the Holy Spirit through me. And I've written it on my Facebook page. And then I'm going to read what the Lord has given to my beautiful brother, Brother Ben Sakengo. Okay, so this is the word. From the most high yeah that he has given to me from our lord and savior jesus christ this is the word concerning donald trump from the lord the most high yeah god says donald trump presidency will be coming to a chaotic ending i know the heart of trump of donald trump says the Lord and the heart of Donald Trump is very wicked this is the word that I've gotten this morning like I say on the 9th of January 2021 and I've written it up and I've put it on my Facebook page because the Most High said to me post this and like I said a lot of you Donald Trump supporters um will be upset with this message because I, I believe that some of you want those of us who sit on the wall for the Lord who hears directly from the kingdom of heaven to come out and proclaim how wonderful Donald Trump is and he's going to get a second term and he's anointed by the Lord and he's a born again Christian no he is not in, that, in fact Donald Trump is a Freemasonry he is a 33 degree Freemasonry and he is protected by the fallen angel. He is protected by the fallen angel. And you believe that the Most High Yah angels are covering Donald Trump? No, he's not. That man is protected by the fallen angel. I will post the video where the Lord showed me in a vision, a very, very clear vision, where the fallen angels 
give Donald Trump's protection. This is the reason why Israel, the fake state Israel, came out and declared that America, where am I? Declared that America, okay, and 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 Israel, the political state Israel, knows about the fallen angel because they know. And I've done a video about that. But that message this morning, brothers and sisters, that the Lord gave me concerning the presidency of Donald Trump and the heart of Donald Trump is very wicked. Now, some of you are going to say, oh, well, Joe Biden is wicked. They're all wicked. They all work for Lucifer. End of story. They all work for, they do not work for the kingdom of heaven. And if you believe that Donald Trump, just because he is against abortion, that makes him a saint. No, he's got many, 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 many other wicked things that he promotes. Okay. I want to go into the word from my beloved brother, brother Kenson, brother Benson. Kengo is wrote a beautiful word. This is directly from the throne room of heaven. And I urge you, I urge the church uh, to listen to this because this is for the church. And it goes like this. It is deep heartening for the evangelical churches in the USA who went, listen to this. It is deep heartening for the evangelical churches in the USA who went to tell the president Trump he should not concede until the end. These are the wicked pastors. I'm going to stop here a little bit. I'm not coming on Donald Trump's uh, side. I'm not siding with him. But I'm going to say this as it is. Donald Trump has been unstable mentally for a very long time. And these wicked pastors, every one of them from Paula White to, to, to all of them who support Donald Trump, you know who they are, all these mega preachers and all these little churches on Facebook and all dotted all over the world, right? Who supports Donald Trump, right? They know in themselves that Donald Trump is not mentally stable and i believe that the lord is going to that i believe that there's going to be a reckoning to these wicked pastors who continue to egg on and to edge on donald trump not to concede because thus saith the lord trump you will get four four more years and it's a lie the Lord never said that. The Lord said Donald Trump time, short space. Revelation 17, verses 10 to 11, short space. Trump is a seventh king, short space. And all these wicked evangelical preachers and pastors and so-called prophets who go up and say to Donald Trump, oh, you're going to get, of course he's going to keep drumming on. I will win. We will win. And the Lord has cut it off. So these people are literally going against the hands of the Most High. Yeah, short space for Trump. That's it. His time is ending. He's not getting eight years. And we will see if he finishes off the four years. He's got oh, 11 days left or something like that. But these pastors take advantage of Trump. I am telling you, they're very, very wicked. They're very, very wicked. But the but a reckoning is coming. So my beautiful brother went on to say... Uh, I've read that already. It's, it's, you know, it's hearted in for the even, evangelical churches in the USA who went to tell the president, Trump, you should not concede until the end. They false fully misled and leaves him barely standing and knocked down. They false fully mis misled and leaves him barely knocked down. That is what they did to Trump. These wicked pastors, I am telling you, brothers and sisters, all of them, all of them then know that Donald Trump, might, when, you have a, when you have a person that is, I'm going to put Trump in the vulnerable category. And this is not because I'm taking up for Trump because I know who he is. But Donald Trump is vulnerable. That man is vulnerable, brothers and sisters. And these wicked pastors have crossed the line. They kept misleading him. 
and misleading their congregation. Trump will get four years. Oh, Donald Trump, we're praying for you. Oh, the Lord says that you're going to do this. It's a wicked lie and a reckoning is coming to these pastors. Believe me, brothers and sisters. Okay? So where am I? It is unfortunately... So they forcefully, these are the wicked pastors. <laughs> they, they, well, I shouldn't say wicked pastors, but those on YouTube as well. Okay, those on YouTube every day, Donald Trump will get four years. He's going to win. He's going to win. Wicked, very, very wicked, these people. They falsely mis misled and, and leaves him barely, barely knocked down. It is unfortunate they made him hardened spiritually. And they left him barely desperate and really started start staring a dangerous path ahead. Of course, he wouldn't concede. He knows that he's lost the election. I know he's, I know he's crying fraud, okay? And the Trump supporters say that, oh, massive fraud has been committed. But that, the Lord tells me that that's going to be exposed. And when it's exposed... The Trump supporters are going to be very shocked and very frightened because when the truth comes out, you're going to know that the election of 2020 was not, was not stolen. It wasn't fraudulent. It was not. This is the hands of Yah moving. Trump time has ended. The Lord has ended Donald Trump's time. That's it, brothers and sisters. That is it. There was no fraudulent, uh, what they call it, worldwide, not worldwide, um, widespread. That's it. There was no widespread voter fraud, and Donald Trump know this. He knows this, but he had to please the wicked evangelical Christians who kept telling this man that God says you will get four more years. And he's been deceived and his heart has become hardened is Donald Trump. But I tell you, these Christians, these so-called Christians who huh, are reckoning, all of you, every single one of you who jump up and said, thus said the Lord to this man, a reckoning is coming to you and it's not going to be pretty because you lied on the most high Yah. You lied on God. And secondly, you misled the president of the United States of America to become deranged and delusional to the point where his heart is hardened spiritually. This word is real. And I have to come and I have to tell you as it is. They made him hardened spiritually. And they left him barely desperate and really staring a dangerous path ahead. You, you have seen, I know some of you are saying, oh, Capitol Hill, that was not Trump supporter. You can say what you want. Because at the end of the day, you Donald Trump supporters who believe in conspiracy theory over prophecy, you're leading a very dangerous path. If you continue to believe in conspiracy theory over biblical prophecies, I am telling you, your final destination will be hell because the Lord will hold you accountable. When you believe these things, you put a uh, conspiracy theory over the word of the Messiah. And that's what you guys have, are doing. And I have to come out, oh, I'm so wrong. I have to come out and rebuke sharply. You know, I have to come up because this is very, very sad. This is very, 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 very sad, brothers and sisters. Let's continue what Brother Benson says. So, um, desperate, really, uh, Donald Trump staring a dangerous path because he's misled. They didn't know being compromised to politics bring desperate spiritual and physical, uh, brings desperation spiritually and physically you never ever 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 mix politics with the church that's a no-go that's a no-go that's a red line my god and the church have mixed in oh they've mixed in politics with the church and this is this is this is where this mess 
is coming from because the evangelical churches have compromised the spiritual walk. This is the reason of not taking heed and seeking spiritual awareness and listening to others, other brethren who may be sent, who were sent to come on in. I can't even read. Sorry about that. Let me read that one more time, brothers and sisters. This is, it was so small. This is the reason of not taking heed of seeking spiritual awareness and listening to other brethren who may be were sent to come on in the cause to highlight deep reveals of the mystery of evil conspiracies walking underneath. That was planned before Trump became president. Brothers and sisters, I can tell you, this channel, and I've left the comments. When I first started to talk about Donald Trump in 2016, when I was getting all these visions about Trump, I mean, I've lost friends. Friends on Facebook that we used to communicate together in, in box. And when, I, when the Lord started to reveal to me from 2016, this is how long, from 2016 until now. And every time I used to wonder, I said, Lord, I can't understand this. I said, we're about, we, you know, the body of Christ. Why are these people taking up for Trump when I'm trying to, 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 to show truth? And it was like, all I'm hearing, Donald Trump is sent by the Lord. That, that, that is it. So you, you, or dare you come and say Donald Trump is of Satan because the Lord sent it because all these prophets, all these wicked prophets have prophesied that Donald Trump is, uh, well, they didn't use the word demigod, but basically that's what they've put Trump as, a demigod. <coughs> Let's continue. So the Lord send his people to break these mysterious evil conspiracy for people to listen <clears throat> sorry and to take heed of who trump is and where his presidency is headed to the evangelicals too will be left desperate spiritually and physically listen when you finally find out that Donald Trump will not get four years, many of you heart will turn from the Lord because you will listen to fake false prophecies. Rather than seeking spiritual insight, whether the Lord, because sometimes in life, when you don't want to hear the answer, you don't seek. When you, Yes, I'll give it to you in a minute. When you don't want to hear the answers, you, you tend not to go to the Lord in prayer. Or if you do go to the Lord in prayer, you're so caught up into Trump that the answer you keep on hearing is yes. Four more years, my daughter. Yes, he's my son. He will get, and, and, and then, you, then you twist that and you said that's the Holy Spirit when that is your inner man, when that is your conscience. Because that's what you want to hear. And Satan knows that and he plays on that. So you're left now spiritually deprived and physically deprived, that at the end of this, some of you will turn from the Most High Yah because, oh dare the Lord allow, well, I don't even know if Joe Biden is going to get sworn in. I don't know. We will see. That's another story, okay? Um, but some of you are like, oh, Lord Jesus Christ, I fasted, I've prayed all night, prayer meeting for Trump to win. He didn't win. Lord, you lied. Some of you are going to say that the Lord lied. Really? <laughs> Be careful in your upset. In your upset with the Lord, please be careful what you say about him. Okay? Right? So the evangelicals too will be left desperate and will be left desperate spiritually and physically. Honestly, it's time to repent. Yes. And tell God, I wronged you on my standing concerning Donald Trump. Lord, I was wrong. Some of you need to repent. Repent, repent, repent. 
I wronged you on my standing. I was spiritually misled. Yes, some of you Trump supporters are spiritually misled by false prophecies and evil conspiracies about this election. It has weakened your faith. The Lord does not lie. When the Lord makes a declaration in the land, and if God had said Donald Trump will win, then that it's what then that's what it will be. But the Lord never said that. Trump's time is short space. And I don't even know, like I said, if he's gonna finish his well, he's got what, 11 days left. We'll see. <coughs> if he finishes. Short space. But you said no. You said no, Lord, no, four more years. That's what we want. And God says no. End of. You cannot twist the hands of the Lord. You cannot come against the hand of the Most High. Yeah. When he says no, it is no. When he says yes, it is yes. You cannot put him in a box. Be very careful in your anger towards the Lord. Be very, very careful in your anger towards the Most High. Yeah. Let's continue. I'm almost finished. This is some powerful stuff. This is why I had to read what Brother Benson wrote. I had to do a video about this because this is so powerful in so many levels. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna link the actual article is writing in the description box and on in the comment section so you can physically read it for yourself. All right, watch this, brothers and sisters. Where am I? How wronged you? On my standing, I was spiritually blind. I, it doesn't matter how great the church all may be, how many people attend it, how wealthy someone is, how influential one is, all what matters, sorry, all what the Lord needs is a truthful heart which trusts in him and lives by his ways. That's all the Lord wants from you, a truthful heart. But some of you Donald Trump supporters' heart is so hardened. And I often wonder, Lord, how are we going to reach your people? Because they're caught up in this Trumpism. They're caught up in this cult. And I often wonder, and I pray, and I said, Lord, how are we going to reach your people? Because we need them back to be focused on you, King of glory, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And the Lord said he's going to do it. He's going to turn their hearts. Hallelujah. So I feel comfortable and I feel comforted by that. Be focused on him and not on men. And you will know the secrets of man. It is unfortunate to see the happening of the USA. Brothers and sisters, listen. I know who America is. Trust me. All right. But when I saw how huh, Capitol Hill was ransacked and invaded and sieged for however long by the Trump supporters. You might say they're Antifa, that's your business. If you wanna say, oh, they're not Trump supporters, they're, they're, they're Antifa and their Black Lives Matters, that's up to you, that's totally up to you. But I can only go what I, by what I saw. And these were Trump supporters, okay? And it was, it was quite upsetting because this is a place where they make law, where they do whatever they do and it was violated and it's very very wicked i even heard on well somebody says that they even went into nancy pelosi's office and did a poop in her office did a poop in nancy pelosi's office <laughs> yo these supporters brothers and sisters i'm telling you they're deranged they're inched they're on edge borderline demonic i've done a video about that i'm going to leave it in the description box for you to watch okay it is unfortunately what's happening in the usa quite devastating situation coming from a big brother usa who may who many trusted as giant of hope and change but now the deception that rocked the usa leaves it desperately needing spiritual support and encouragement i am not here brothers and sisters I am not here to um, to curse you out or anything like that. 
But I am here to draw their light. I cannot be like the other YouTubers who comes on every day and tell you lies about Trump and the presidency. It is over. The Lord has stopped it. That's it. His time has ended. But because of who Trump is, his ego, it cannot take a loss. Of course, he's going to come up with all this theory. Are you telling me that the courts in America are so wicked and so awful and so evil and so bad and that the Supreme Courts are so evil, awful and bad that not even one would side with Trump? That's not true. It's like, I have to bring this. It's like many, many, many moons ago with black people in America, especially our black men in America, who they say, oh, I saw that black man kill that white woman. And it goes to court without evidence. And that black person is sent to jail for 40 years. That is what the election is like, brothers and sisters. But the good thing is that obviously your courts and whatever uphold what they uphold. They're, they're not gone yet. They're not... They're in the B system, but they're not fully there yet. They still have some principles. Brothers and sisters, you've got to take heed. I'm going to pin a video. Please watch it. It's a video I did three weeks ago concerning those who will die for Donald Trump. And the sad thing about it is that what you saw on Capitol Hill is just the beginning of sorrows because there's much worse to come. Donald Trump has created a mob of monsters. That's all I can say. This is a mob who identifies Donald Trump's ideals, supports what he supports, love what he loves. I've said it before, watch Georgia, watch that city, Georgia, because that city is going to be on a siege very soon, okay? What you saw on Capitol Hill is just the beginning. And the video, please watch it. I've posted it three weeks ago, concerning something like Donald Trump supporters will die for him or martyrdom or something like that. It's time to wake up. It is time to wake up. Don't let your soul go to hell for one man. Ask the Lord to help you. You know, I posted something on my Facebook yesterday. And in the message that I posted on my Facebook, I basically said that the Trump supporters needs to be free because we have some of our brothers and sisters in Christ has caught up in this cult because that's what it is. It is a cult. This is a cult. This is idolatry. This is a man that has not been sent by the Most High yet to do the Most High's will. He's been placed there to fulfill prophecy. And part of the prophecy that Donald Trump has fulfilled is the 400 years of slavery. And if you notice from when Trump came into power until now from the, uh, the, the race war, he had to do that. He had to side with the Ku Klux Klan. He had to side with the white supremacists because there's going to be a race war. This is the final race war. Like this is going to be so huge and so big. Then after the race war, Yah is going to exit us, his people. Judah, mostly Judah and all the rest of the tribes out of America. It is coming. Nobody can stop it. But one more race war. And Trump had to incite this insidious, uh, insidious situation for four years. It's been brewing for four years because you see Satan recognizes Satan. The racist recognize that Trump is a racist. They know. They know that he doesn't fancy black people. He doesn't fancy immigrants. This has been brewing for four, four years. 
and at the end of the four years, the presidency was taken away from him through black people. And Trump supporters know that. They know. So they're coming after the blacks. And they're going to start in Georgia. Because Georgia, yeah, they're going to start in Georgia. This is very, very deep. Some evil things are ahead. You've got 11 days left. We will see. My advice is keep in prayer. Stop following conspiracy theory. Turn off your TV. Turn them off. Your YouTube, whatever. Turn them off. Go into prayer. <coughs> Seek the most high Yah's face. You're going to need him. Because at the end of the day, you're going to find out that you were lied to. Because the Lord is going to expose it. He will expose it. And when it's exposed, when it's finally exposed... All of you Trump supporters, you're going to know that Donald Trump and all his enablers lied to you about the United States of America election. There is no widespread fraud. It's God. It's Yah that has made a stop to it. Trump's time is ended. That's it. No fraud. But it is what it is. All right. So I had to come and I had to do this video. I had to do this video. I hope you watch it, share it. Um, I am praying for you, Trump supporters. You know, especially, especially my Christian brothers and Christian sisters in the Most High. Because we love you. And we don't want to see you destroyed. But if you don't repent, and if you don't turn away from these wicked conspiracy theories and all of that, it is going to destroy you. All right? So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Yah just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High Yah. Who oh, wow, 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 people. I'm just saying wow because <laughs> I don't know. If you go to Book of Daniel and read about Nebuchadnezzar, you know, it tells the story kind of what's going on with the political agenda and all this stuff right in Daniel. America be something. It will America be something? I don't know if I'm saying his title exactly right, but I put it on my videos many times and showed you guys what Charles said about he had this vision too on uh, this revelation about Trump being like Nebuchadnezzar and his time will be short. His uh, his uh, uh, his term will be short, and uh, God is going to be dealing with him and many things in his life. So, Kara's right. I believe her. I believe what she's saying right here. But uh, I'm going to go to the Bible because yet this week when I went when he showed me Ezekiel, I'm telling you, it kind of fit right in on what the father is not happy about. And so I'm going to let my husband read from. Uh, Son of Man Bible version, but I'm going to be reading from the Amplified uh, Bible and breaking it down a little bit for you guys today because this is serious business going on. It's time to really worship the God who made you and nobody else. Nobody else. So I'm going to just read 13 and 14. I could tell you the 13th chapter has 23 verses and the 14th chapter have 23 verses. So, <laughs> And I'm telling you, when you read both of them together, you can really understand kind of what's going on right now. But I'm going to go ahead and, Father, be with us and read your word from your Bible, from your written word. I'm telling you, I know that, yeah, uh, church and state mis mixing together is not your plan. And we know all these things mixing with political things, not your plan. And we know we need to put our trust in you as the guys in Samuel, uh, in the King, Book of Kings. Uh, the people wanted a king. They wanted a king. They wanted a king. They wanted a king. And who they 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 wanted to out uh, uh delete you, and they wanted to worship man. We going through the same thing again, again and again. So we're gonna go here now and read to the people your word, Father. And I thank you for this Sabbath. I thank you for your time with us. I thank you for your revelations. And we ask these blessings in your name. Let your Holy Spirit come and be with us right now in the name of Yeshua Messiah. Okay, so you can go ahead and read that from. 13 and then when I, if I say pause that mean I want to read something uh, you know break it down because I have my other Bible but I have to... all right all right is this <laughs> okay. the right one? yeah 13? 13 and 14 yeah go ahead 
Again, the word of Yahuwah came to me and said, <clears throat> Son of man, prophesy against the prophets who are prophesying in Israel, and say to those who are prophesying out of their own imaginations, <laughs> Imagination. listen to the word of Yahuwah. Oh, yeah. Lord Yahuwah says this, Woe to the foolish prophets who follow their own spirit, but who have seen nothing. Mm -hmm. That's what it's saying. That's what that's what Kara just said. And then what Kara just said? Go ahead. Israel, your <laughs> prophets have been like jackals in the wastelands. You have not gone to the breaks in the wall around the house of Israel in order to repair it, in order to resist in battle on the day of Yahuwah. The people have false visions and make false predictions. Those who say such and such is Yahuwah's declaration. <laughs> Yahuwah has not sent them, <laughs> but they nevertheless have made people hope that their messages <laughs> would come true. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to sweep. Let me read just here out of the Amplified. It says in the sixth verse here, they have, been, they have seen falsehood and lying, divination, saying the Lord says, but the Lord has not sent them, yet they have hoped and made men to hope for the confirmation of their word. Oh, my people. I, I mean, really. Go ahead. Have you not had false visions and made false predictions, you who say, such and such is Yahuwah's declaration, when I myself have not spoken? Therefore, Lord Yahuwah says this, because you have had false visions and have told lies, therefore, Lord Yahuwah declares against you, my hand will be against the prophets who have lying visions and who make false predictions. They will not be in the congregation of my people or enrolled in the record of the house of Israel. They must not go to the land of Israel. For you will know that I am Lord Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. Because of this and because they led my people astray and said, Peace, when there is no peace, they are building a wall that they will paint with whitewash. Say to those who are whitewashing the wall, It will <laughs> fall down. There will be a downpour of rain and yeah. I will send hailstones to make it fall down and a hurricane wind to break it down. Oh, hallelujah. See, the wall will fall down. <laughs> Have others not said to you, Where is the whitewash that you put on it? <laughs> Therefore, Lord Yahuwah says this, I'll bring a hurricane wind in my rage, and there will be floods of rain in my wrath. Mm -hmm. Hailstones mm -hmm. in my rage will completely destroy it. Mm -hmm. For I will tear down the wall that you have covered with whitewash, and I will demolish it to the ground and lay bare its foundations. So it will fall, and you will be annihilated in the middle of it all. Then you will <laughs> know that I am Yahuwah. Okay, hold on. And here it is in, in, Amplify, in the Amplified Bible. It says here... Uh, so will I break down the wall that you have daubed with whitewash and bring it down to the ground so that its foundations will be exposed, exposed. When it falls, and I know Carrie just said it's going to be exposed. It's coming out. Uh, it's gonna, uh, so it says here, so that its foundation will be exposed. When it falls, you will perish and be consumed in the midst of it. And you will know and understand and realize that I am the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. For I will annihilate in my fury the wall and those who whitewashed it. I will say to you, the wall exists no more, nor do the people who whitewashed it. The prophets of Israel who prophesied about Jerusalem and who had visions of peace for her. But there is no peace, Lord Yahuwah declares. So you, son of man, set your face against the daughters of your people who <laughs> prophesy out of their own minds and prophesy against them. Say, Lord Yahuwah says this, mm -hmm. Woe to the women who sew magic charms onto every part of their hand <laughs> and make veils for their heads of every size mm -hmm. used to hunt down people. <laughs> Will you hunt down my people but save your own lives? <laughs> you have profaned me among my people for handfuls of barley and crumbs of bread to kill people who should not die and to preserve the lives of those who should not continue to live because of your lies to my people who heard you. Okay, it says here in Amplified Bible, in verse 19 it says you have profaned my you have profaned you have profaned me among my people in payment in payment for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread slaying persons who should not die and given a guarantee a, a, like a, a, a guarantee you know like guaranteeing something a guarantee of life to those who should not live by your lying to my people who have who give heed to lies. So, you know, I thought about that verse and I thought about Job when I came and told you about Job. 
I can't pull it up right now. Job 13, 4, where he says they are, uh, they are using whitewash. They are, white, they are using whitewash and they are lying to you. They are liars. And then they are, uh, they, oh man, what? They are liars and witch doctors, you know, about the vaccine. And I told you guys, they are liars. They are sorcerers. And so, you know, all this stuff is paying out right in the Bible. All this stuff is coming to pass, people. We need to trust the God Almighty God alone. Nobody else but him, Father. Nobody else but him. Go ahead, go ahead. <clears throat> Therefore, Lord Yahuwah says this, I am against the magic charms that you have used mm -hmm. to ensnare the people's lives as if they were <laughs> birds. Indeed, I will tear them from your arms, oh. and the people whom you have trapped like birds, I will let them go free. I will tear away your veils and rescue my people from your hand, so they will no longer be trapped in your hands. You will know that I am Yahuwah. All this witchcraft they're using, even with uh, the pol political offices, all this witchcraft and magic, and all, uh, it, that's true. They're using all this stuff. Go ahead, go ahead, go. Because you discourage the heart of the righteous person with lies, even though I did not desire his discouragement, and because you encourage instead the actions of the wicked person, so that he will not turn from his way to save his life. Hmm. Therefore, you will no longer have false visions or continue to make predictions. For I will rescue my people out of your hand. You will know that I am Yahuwah. Then she said we're going to have a wilderness experience. God's going to take care of his people. I believe that. I had a dream myself about it. And so, you know, we need to be packing our bags and getting ready for the Father because he can come at us any time. That's why we need to be ready, be ready before the rapture. This is going to occur before the rapture. And so uh, let's go ahead and go over the, th uh, the thir 14th, 14th chapter. Yeah, 14th chapter is very, very heavy information here. I hope you guys really go and back and read, reread 13 and 14. But I'm telling you, this is very, 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 very happy, heavy information here. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Some of the elders of Israel came to me and sat before me. Mm -hmm. Then the word of Yahuwah came to me and said, Son of man, these men have taken their idols into their hearts and have mm -hmm. put the stumbling block of their iniquity before their own faces. Should I be inquired of at all by them? Therefore announce this to them and say to them, Lord Yahuwah says this, Every man of the house of Israel who takes his idols into his heart <laughs> or who puts the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face and who then comes to a prophet, <laughs> I, Yahuwah, will answer him according to the number of his idols. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let me see. I don't think I have nothing else. It's just talk about idols in here. Break it down as gold and silver. And I know uh, if you go to Nebuchadnezzar, he was the head of gold. Uh, and that's why they called my friend Charles Wheeling was talking about how the father showed him Trump was like Nebuchadnezzar. And I will post that video down in the description box for you guys to go look at that again. Will America ever be fixed again or, or something like that? Great again. Great again? Will, Amer will America ever be great again? I think that's the name of the video. But I'm telling you guys, I, I know I used to listen to Brother Charles for like 30 some years. I used to go to his conferences. He never said he was a prophet or anything like that. But this man have great discernment. God give him great discernment about things. But go ahead and I'll finish that. Okay. I will do this <laughs> so that I may take back the house of Israel in their mm -hmm. hearts that have been driven far from me through their idols. Therefore say to the house of Israel, Lord Yahuwah says this, Repent and turn away from your idols. Turn back your faces from all your abominations. <laughs> For every one from the house of Israel and every one of the sojourning foreigners staying in Israel who deserts me, who takes his idols into his heart and puts the stumbling block of his iniquity before his own face, and who then comes to a prophet to seek me, mm -hmm. I, Yahuwah, will answer him myself. Uh -huh. yeah. So I will set my <laughs> face against that man and make him a sign and a proverb, mm -hmm. for I will cut him off from the midst of my people, and mm -hmm. you will know that I am Yahuwah. Wow. Wow. If a prophet is deceived and speaks a message, mm -hmm. then I, Yahuwah, will deceive that prophet. Mm -hmm. I will reach out with my hand against him and destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. Mm -hmm. They will carry their own iniquity. The mm -hmm. iniquity of the prophet will be the same as the iniquity of the one who inquires from him. Because of this, the house of Israel will no longer wander away from following me, nor defile themselves any longer through all their transgressions. Mm. They will be my people, and I will be their divine one, Lord Yahuwah declares. Yep, he's going to be uh, in charge of us if we, if we want him to be in charge of us. If we want to follow the world, uh, you know, we can just follow the world. But, you know, I'm telling you guys, you need to be knowing who made heaven and earth and who made you and 
who know you through and through, who can read your mind, know what your thoughts are. You should be wanting to follow that person, not these other people. So uh, it's time to really repent, 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 repent. Uh, so uh, it's just time for us to repent and follow our God, our God. He is very a jealous God. He is tired of all these idols and, you know, people make idols out of everything. So, you know, I, I just say, you know, we need to be just really giving time to Yeshua right now. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <clears throat> then the word of Yahuwah came to me and said, Son of man, when mm -hmm. a land sins against me by committing a sin, so that I reach out with my hand against it and break the staff of its bread and send out over it a famine mm -hmm. and cut off both man and beast from the <laughs> land, then even if these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in the land's midst, they could only rescue their own lives by their righteousness, Lord Yahuwah declares. Okay, he mentioned his three prophets. He mentioned these three faithful people there, Noah, Daniel, and Job. Noah, Daniel, and Job. I mean, those guys went through more stuff than you can imagine. And I'm telling you, they were faithful to the end. And we need to know they can't even save their own family. He said they can't even save their own family. Only by their, your life, only by following. You know, he said, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's really what it's saying here. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You cannot mommy, daddy, brother, sister, nobody, your pastor, uh, me, uh, my husband, or whoever. Nobody can take you in but yourself and the Father working out with him, working it out. Working out your own salvation every day. Dying daily, dying daily. Uh, confessing your sins and talking to the Lord God Almighty every day and every night. I'm telling you, once a week, don't get it, people. Praying once a week, don't get it. On Sunday, on Sabbath, whatever. You have to be consistently in prayer day and night, uh, three times a day as Daniel did, uh, whatever way, you know, the, the Lord leads you. But I'm telling you, it's no time to be slacking off with prayer. This is the time to pray like never before, that you're going to make it in, that we're going to make it in. Go ahead, go ahead. <clears throat> If I send evil beasts through the land and yeah. make it barren, so that it becomes a wasteland where no man may pass through because of the beasts, then even if these same three men were in it, as I <laughs> live, declares Lord Yahuwah, they would not be able to rescue even their own sons or daughters. Mm -hmm. Only their own lives would be rescued, right. but the land would become a wasteland. That's right. Or if I bring a sword against that land and say, sword, go through the <laughs> land and cut off both man and beast from it. Then even if these three men were in the midst of the land, as I live, declares Lord Yahuwah, hmm. they would not be able to rescue even their own sons or daughters, only their own lives would be rescued. Hmm. Or if I send a plague against this land and pour out my fury against it through bloodshed in order to cut off both man and beast, then even if Noah, Daniel, and Job were in that land, as I live, declares Lord Yahuwah, they would not be able to rescue even their own sons or daughters. Mm -hmm. Only their own lives would be rescued by their righteousness. By their righteousness. By their righteousness. For Lord Yahuwah says this, mm -hmm. I will certainly make things worse by sending my four punishments, famine, sword, wild animals, and plague, against Jerusalem to cut, uh, to cut off both man and beast from her. Yet behold, a remnant will be left in her, survivors who will go out with sons and daughters, Behold, they will go out to you, and you will see their ways and actions and be con comforted and con concerning the punishment that I have mm -hmm. sent to Jerusalem mm -hmm. and about everything else that I have sent mm -hmm. against the land. Mm -hmm. The survivors will comfort you when you see their ways and their actions. So you will know all these things I have done against her, that I have not done them in vain, Lord Yahuwah declares. Oh, people, I tell you, if you guys didn't get nothing out of those two chapters, I, when I saw those two chapters, I'm like... Wow, we, we really got to, you know, like they always say, the old people used to say, you know, you, uh, what is a, a tub, a tub has to stand on its own bottom, <laughs> you know, that term, a tub has to stand on its own bottom. We have to stand on our own bottom. We cannot depend on uh, anyone to uh, rescue us. We have to know that Yeshua is the only one. He said right there, rescued. Uh, only their own lives will be rescued by their righteousness. Their righteousness. And so right here, okay, their righteousness. So we got to know that the, to try to live righteous, keep his commandments, uh, die daily, uh, confess your sins openly and uh, before him often, uh, daily. You know, Father, I've done this today. I know it wasn't right for me to curse. I know it wasn't right for me to get mad and angry, whatever. You need to keep your vessels clean before Yeshua. And I know people say, oh, I have to do that because I'm saved and I'm saved. And 
you know, I'm so sick of hearing that because, you know, that's what got me in trouble years ago. I was thinking I was saved at 16 and I, nobody told me I had to die daily. Nobody told me I had to read my word daily and night. Nobody told me I had to confess my sins openly before the Father and keeping myself clean, okay? And so that's why you fall because nobody tell us. And then we go out and make mistakes and do things we shouldn't do. And so that's what I'm telling you now, people. We need to know that it's time to be really, really, really faithful and true to the Father all the way until the end because he said those that endure those that endure until the end will be saved he didn't say you were saved right now he said those that endure will be saved so we need to be enduring 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 okay so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video uh, it's already 58 minutes so let's go ahead and end it uh, wow what a word what a word coming out of that uh, chapter there what a word that is uh, so let's go ahead and end it here with Maranatha. The key note, and I just he, he just had me turn here. The key note of scripture. The key note of scripture on page 13 in Maranatha, the Lord is coming. I'm telling you people, we need to know it's a key note that we have to stay in the word, stay in the word, stay in the word, stay in the word, stay in the word. You think I get these things out of my head? I don't. I pray at night and say, Father, what you want me to have today to tell the people, to share with the people? The other night I was in my bed getting up to go out of the room and up in the ceiling of the house, I seen this bright opening. I don't know. It was like a bright opening. I don't know if it was a cherubim, but it was bright and, 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 oh man, it was red and orange and, and just, go, and I say, what is that? And so, you know, and sometimes it's like angels are all around doing all kinds of things in their dimensions. And you don't see these things, but sometimes they hide it away from you. And I'm like, wow, father, what was that? I would like a continuation of that one. But, you know, angels are everywhere watching over us right now more than ever. And we need to know to use them every day. Use the angels. Use the angels. Call the angels. Father, I need you to send an angel to my son. Send an angel here. Uh, protect us on the highway. You need to use your angels right now more than ever and pray more than ever. So I'm going to go ahead and re uh, let this go ahead and roll. Um, I'm muted out here. January 5, the keynote of the scripture, I know that my Redeemer liveth and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth, Job 19.25. One of the most solemn and yet most glorious truths revealed in the Bible is that of Christ's second coming to complete the great work of redemption. To God's pilgrim people so long left to sojourn in the region and shadow of death, a precious joy-inspiring hope is given in the promise of his appearing who is the resurrection and the life, to bring home again his banished. The doctrine of the second advent is the very keynote of the sacred scriptures. From the day when the first pair turned their sorrowing steps from Eden, the children of faith have waited the coming of the promised one to break the destroyer's power and bring them again to the lost paradise. Enoch only in the seventh and descent from them that dwelt in Eden he who for three centuries on earth walked with his God was permitted to behold from afar the coming of the Deliverer. Behold, he declared, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints to execute judgment upon all. The patriarch Job in the night of his affliction exclaimed with unshaken trust, I know that my Redeemer liveth and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. In my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not another. May the God of all grace so enlighten your understanding that you may discern eternal things, that by the light of truth your own errors, which are many, may be discovered to you just as they are, that you may make the necessary effort to put them away, and in the place of this evil, bitter fruit may bring forth fruit which is precious unto eternal life. Humble your poor, proud, self-righteous heart before God. Get low, very low, all broken in your sinfulness at his feet. Devote yourself to the work of preparation. Rest not until you can truly say, My Redeemer liveth, and because he lives, I shall live also. If you lose heaven, you lose everything. If you gain heaven, you gain everything. Do not make a mistake in this matter. I implore you, eternal interests are here involved. January. 
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Our, our redemption is drawing nigh every day. It's getting closer and closer. So we need to be really ready for the Father. I am working on my own life, you know. I'm telling you, working on my own life. So we must all work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. So I'm going to go ahead and leave today, people. I think, I don't even know if I put down my declaim, my other thing here at the bottom. <laughs> I didn't do it. But let me go ahead and close out uh, real quick here. And I just want to thank you guys. I really do want to thank you for your support and your prayers. Uh, I just got some new updates coming from people. I know we've been praying for Dr. Lamech over in uh, Uganda. Had the virus and another brother had the virus in Arkansas. All of them are feeling great now. God is recovering them, have healed them and delivering them. And we just going to keep praying for all the prayer. If you ever have prayer requests, just send them in by email. Uh, you know, and I will get to them because I'm on my email constantly. So, uh, if you uh, know of anything you want me to pray about, uh, in our, ch on this, uh, mission, uh, on our channel. So it's just important that we keep prayer before ourselves right now and our children and our families and the missionaries and, uh, all over the world, the homeless people. I'm praying for these people as well. The widows, all the people in mission fields going out, risking their life every day. So we need to pray. It's a lot of things to pray about right now, including Washington. A lot of things to pray about. So, Father, uh, uh, I just want to come and thank the people for watching today. We thank you for all your offerings to help the homeless, the offerings to widows, and those in need of mission fields. May Yahuwah richly bless each and every one of you. And also, uh, you can go to the donation uh, options at... Uh, the website at fmcmi.org, or you can go to marna.camel at gmail.com at PayPal. Uh, you can mail in donations at Fill My Cup Ministries, Post Office Box 414, Canyon City, Colorado, 81215. And you can go to sh my, you can ship anything to us at Fill My Cup Ministries, 1501 Main Street, number 414, Canyon City, Colorado, 81212. So I'm just going to go ahead and close out and uh, hope you guys are really having a wonderful uh, Shabbat, the rest of it. And so I'm going to let my husband, do you want to pray today for us? End, end with a prayer. Okay. After, uh, you want me to pray. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Father, we do thank you for this video. Father, we thank you for everyone that gets to watch it. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you for healing our brothers and sisters around the globe. Father, mm -hmm. your people will be standing while the world falls apart around them. <laughs> Father, we just thank you for healing people that trust you, believe in you, will follow you and obey you, mm -hmm. Father. We give our lives to you, our physical lives, spiritual lives, mental lives, mm -hmm. our whole life, Father. Everything involved in our lives, we give it to you. And we thank you. And we commit ourselves to you till the very end. In Yeshua's name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. So, okay, guys, I'm going to go now. And I'll see you again on another video. I will try to post some links in the description box. If you always never know that, always check the description box. I always have news and uh, other things to look at and watch and look at and different things. So... I will post those in the description box. I think of some messages from Latter Rain 333. I uh, got one from Pastor Dowell and uh, some other things down there because a lot of things are going on. So um, I didn't get into a lot of the news today, but I will put some things in the description box. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful on uh, Saturday night. And I'll see you Shabbat guys. Shalom. Uh, Shabbat Shalom. I love you guys so much. Right, Shabbat bye -bye. Shalom.